One of the great gifts of life, I think, is art in all of its forms. And the, when we look at a piece of art, no matter what it is, or we experience it, if it's music or dance or great literature, is that there's a, a sense of timelessness about it. The very idea of myth is something that speaks to something beyond and draws us forward. So we begin, the deepest parts of ourself, I think, resonate with great art. Um, that there's something in it that speaks to the parts of our soul that we may not be able to access right away. You know, something captures us and uh, I think that is the role of beauty, too. When, when you see something that's beautiful, you know, it takes your breath away. And you cannot always put into words what that is that draws you in, but it touches you in some way, and it brings forth something in you that maybe you didn't realize was there. And so in that way, art in all of its forms and beauty in so many different ways that we find beauty in the world um, really reaches us deep inside and is, is kind of a reflection. The reason we can recognize it is that it's in us. That beauty, that, that depth is in us. And we need great art and we need these ways of being able to see the beautiful in order to realize more and more of who we are. And so when we have access to these beautiful things and we can create these beautiful things, then that's reaching a depth of, uh, of who we are that we're giving the world, that we're able to give as a gift to others. Um, there are times that we can find beauty we can find beauty in the most simple of things. We don't have to go to art museums and we, you don't have to lot of stuff around you, you know. Uh, the, the, the great beauty of uh, that's in the natural world is something that's available to us all the time. If we take the time to see it, to pay attention, to be in the present moment with it, I think some of that is, is looking deeply and listening deeply, to be able to be still with that peace. And the more we are able to be still and really absorb and, and to resonate with it, um, the more it, it can grow for us. Gratitude is fundamental. I wake up every morning and as soon as I'm, my eyes open, I say, thank you. I'm awake. I'm alive. Thank you. When I take my glass of water, thank you. I have access to clean water in my kitchen and I have my whole life. I have traveled to places and been with people who don't. I'm very aware of the preciousness of fresh, clean water and how easily I can obtain it. Gratitude, even for the difficulties, because it's those difficulties and that suffering that there is always, I have found much to my dismay, which I would prefer not to have the suffering, but in the suffering, I have always found a gift somewhere. You know, the poet Mary Oliver, she says, someone I once loved gave me a box full of darkness. It took me years to understand that that too was gift. And so everything is gratitude, even the sorrow, 